The Battle of the Twin Tunnels took place during the Korean War, in which the UN forces inflicted heavy casualties on the People's Volunteer Army. The Twin Tunnels refer to a series of railroad tunnels along the central line in eastern Gae Myeon, Yangpyeong County, Gyeonggi-do Province, South Korea. A series of battles, including Twin Tunnels, the Battle of Chipyongni and the Third Battle of Wonju between January and February 1951 marked a turning point in many ways for the entire Korean War. Chapter 1 Background When U.S. ex Corps Commander General Edward Armand received a request from 8th Army Commander General Matthew Ridgway on 30 January for ex Corps, Republic of Korea Army 3 Corps operation similar to Operation Thunderbolt, he was in the process of extending ex Corps diversionary effort ordered earlier by Ridgeway. Having achieved the Yoju Wonju Yongwol line against little opposition, Armand was planning a strong combat reconnaissance 15 miles above this line. Searching that deep at Corps Center and Right could apply pressure on the Korean People's Army 5 and 2 Corps concentrated above Hongsong and Pyongyang. At the same time, the U.S. 2nd Infantry Division, Due to move north along the core left boundary as far as Chipyongni, 8 miles east of Yangpyong, could protect the right flank of 9 core as Operation Thunderbolt continued. Dot in the recent course of protecting 9 core right, a joint motorized patrol from the 2nd and 24th Infantry Divisions on 29 January had moved north out of the Yoju area on the east side of the Han River to a pair of railroad tunnels and a connecting bridge standing east and west athwart a narrow valley four miles south of Chipyongni. PVA in the high ground overlooking the tunnels quickly cut the patrol's route of withdrawal, forced the group into hasty defenses on the nearest rises of ground, and opened a series of assaults. The PVA finally backed away after airstrikes were called in by the pilot of an observation plane, who spotted the ambush and after a motorized company of infantry reinforced the group about 3.30 on the 30th. The whale aid patrol had suffered five dead, 29 wounded, and five missing out of a total strength of 45. At the discovery of PVA of the Twin Tunnels General Armand ordered the 2nd Division to identify, and destroy all enemy units in that area. The 23rd Infantry Regiment received the assignment. On 31 January Regimental Colonel Paul L. Freeman Jr. sent his 3rd Battalion and the attached French Battalion to the tunnels after placing the 37th Field Artillery Battalion within a thousand yards of the tunnel area in direct support. The infantry battalions reached and established a perimeter around the tunnel bridge complex without sighting enemy forces. But from farther north Colonel Freeman's forces themselves were observed by the PVA 125th Division, 42nd Army, 248-9. Chapter 2 Battle Near dawn on 1 February the 375th and 374th regiments attacked from the north and northeast, respectively, and after daylight the 373rd regiment assaulted the perimeter from the northwest and southwest. In hard, close in fighting lasting all day, the defending battalions, relying heavily on artillery fire and on more than 80 airstrikes finally forced the PVA to withdraw. Freeman's forces counted 1,300 enemy bodies outside their perimeter and estimated total PVA casualties at 3,600. Their own losses were 45 killed, 207 wounded, and 4 missing, 249. Chapter 3 Aftermath Judging from the two sharp actions at the Twin Tunnels, the PVA appeared determined to retain control of Chipyongni. They had good reason. The town was so situated that the force occupying it could control movements over Route 2 to the west, over Route 24 to the northeast, over Routes 24 and 24A below town, and thus through the Yangpyong Chungyu segment of the Han River Valley stretching to the southeast behind it. Eighth Army possession of Chipyongni, furthermore, would pose a threat of envelopment to enemy forces opposing 1 and 9 Corps below the Han River. For these same reasons General Armand planned to seize Chipyongni and incorporated this plan in his overall recommendations for an operation styled on Operation Thunderbolt. 
Also behind Armand's proposals were late January intelligence reports of a strong enemy force assembling around Hongchen, at the intersection of routes 24 and 29 20 miles northeast of Chipyongni and 15 miles north of Hongsong. This force, apparently part of the KPAV Corps, could be preparing to advance southwest on Route 24 through Chipyongni, then down the Han Valley toward Yeoju and Chungyu. Or the V Corps might again push forces south on Route 29 through Hongsong toward Wanju. To spoil either move, Armin considered Hongchen the proper main objective of X Corps attack. To disrupt both the KPAV Corps and II Corps, he outlined a coordinated X Corps Rock III Corps advance, Operation Roundup, 249.